Hey there, it's Steve, and I'm working on my 90-day challenge here on YouTube. It's Saturday morning, and I get a chance to slow down a little bit, take my time. I'm not rushing on a Saturday morning. So how do I start my Saturday mornings out? Well, I start them out pretty much the same way I start out my regular journey every day during the week. I begin with the meditation. Now, since it's Saturday, I have a little bit more time, so I choose to do a 10-minute meditation today, maybe a 15-minute meditation tomorrow. I did a meditation today on healing. Healing is a good meditation topic for the weekend because everything that you experience during the week, meetings, dealing with individuals, working, serving, the stress of a commute, all of that does a little bit of significant impact to your body, your emotions. So starting off a Saturday morning with a healing meditation is a great way to begin the weekend. Also, one of my favorite weekend rituals is to go out for coffee. I am blessed that a new coffee shop opened up right on our block. So I get out of the apartment, I walk down the street, I go to my favorite new coffee shop called 310 Coffee. I have an almond milk latte usually consistently on the weekend, get a medium almond milk latte, had a vegan almond milk croissant this morning that was pretty good. I sit there during my coffee period and I journal. I take time to you know, go through my journal, which I told you before is my novel journal. Really good. This year, found this in a bookstore in Hyde Park in Chicago, where my family's from, stayed with my mother-in-law over the winter break. It was really fun. Uh, down in Hyde Park, where the University of Chicago is. Great little bookstore. I love bookstores, by the way. Uh, so, we're right in my novel journal. I'm going through my book by Timothy Keller, Every Good Endeavor. That's a great book that I'm reading, talking about idols, talking about the workplace. Uh, great discussion today in my book by Timothy Keller. Also, had a chance to go through my Bible reading challenge, and uh, I'm in the book of Psalms. I'm doing a 90-day book of Psalms reading challenge, along with my 90-day YouTube challenge. Another thing I enjoy doing on Saturday morning is watching English Premier League soccer. I'm not sure how I got into English Premier League soccer, but in the background behind this camera is the Liverpool Watford game going on. I've become a fan of Liverpool over the last couple of years. I love American sports, basketball, football, baseball, boxing. I love sports and uh, English Premier League soccer. Become a fan over the last couple of years. So next thing doing today, uh, working on my master's degree in special education. I this is my third master's degree that I'm starting. Hopefully I will finish this one completely. I have a ton of credits and two unfinished master's degree, but I have a couple teaching credentials and licenses, so I, I love going to school. Uh, so I am finishing an assessment today. Uh, gonna get that turned in by the end of the day and have my second class finished. So I'm pretty excited about that. Also, family today, we are gonna go participate in democracy today. <laughs> We're going to go vote in the primary election here in California. Early voting. I'm not really a fan of early voting. I'm a more of a traditional old school. I want to stand in line on election day. But uh, we're going to go as a family today, get a chance to show my son, uh, teach him about democracy, participating in the democratic process, being able to vote. It's not necessarily who you vote for, but it's that we have the ability to cast a ballot. And uh, that is something that people had to fight for. Women had to fight for the right to vote. African Americans had to fight for the right to vote. So if I have the ability and the competencies to vote, it's more about using that. You know, I trust that whoever wins the election will work to serve me as an individual. That's the promise that they've made. My obligation is to go to the polls and to vote. So hopefully after we finish voting, I'll come home. Uh, I've been working on my next podcast. It'll be called Stand By Me. It's going to be on the Stephen Thompson Experience, which you can find on Apple Podcasts. And you can also find it on Stitcher and Podbean, and if you're in France, Magellan, and a whole other sorts of podcast places. Overcast as well, I think, has the Stephen Thompson experience. And then I'm working on my next ex excerpt from my novel, The Adventures of Aquafunkapus and His Band of Misfits Heroes, which I am crowdsource editing on my blog, The Stephen Thompson Revolution. I try to have a new piece up every Sunday from my novel, and uh, I'll just tell you up front, it's, uh, it's, a, it's an experiment. 
The book is written in a non-linear form. I am doing different things as far as like writing myself into the story. I have characters. It's about, it's called a spiritual science fiction soap opera. That's what I'm working on. Spiritual science fiction soap opera. There's time jumping. There's multiverses. There's a lot of physics. There's a lot of comedy. There's a lot of pop culture references. There's music. There's YouTube videos that you can link to within the piece. So hopefully it's a fun experience. That's what I'm hoping for in my novel, The Adventures of Aquafunkapus and His Band of Misfit Heroes. I guess I could say subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. If you watch it, that'd be great. But what I'm trying to do is get 90 days of YouTube videos. Behind me is a blanket that was crocheted by my wife. My wife is Kim the Crafty Nomad. She has over a thousand subscribers on her YouTube channel. She is actually the one who is showing a whole lot of competencies in doing these sorts of things. She's the professional. I'm the amateur. I'm just starting off 90 days trying to do a challenge, trying to get it together. Uh, we'll see what pops out at the end of these 90 days. For now, I'm just having fun posting videos, talking about what I'm doing, and uh, there you go. Anyway, going to have a great weekend. See you tomorrow for Sunday. Bye-bye.